Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, I wanted to talk about a couple different things with you concerning DxO software. Number one, uh, Photolab 4, which is brand new, has an update. It's update 4.1, and here's the new features. They've improved the color wheel. You can now have a visual feedback of selected color range directly on your image when interacting with the color wheel. So that's really cool. I'll be doing some videos showing you how all this stuff works. Uh, new camera support. Photolab now supports Lumix uh, S1H, the Mavic Air 2, the Nikon Z6 II, Sony A7S 3 and the Sony A7C. And then it has other features, improved history panel entries for clearer labels, floating panel for image information, and minor bug fixes. So there's been a, a nice update to uh, Photolab 4. The next thing I wanted to talk about and tell you is the holiday season offer is running now. Now it runs now up till December 31st in the year 2020 till 11.59 CET. So we have a sale going on right now. So if you missed that Black Friday sale, you have another chance up to 30% off all DxO software. Stick with me till the end of this brief video because I'm going to show you that new color wheel feature inside of uh, Photolab 4. You're going to love it. It's pretty cool. Now here's a breakdown of the holiday season offer, the Christmas sale. The Nick Collection 3 is on sale for $99.99. Uh, Photolab 4 Elite, $149.99, down from $199, so that's a really nice savings on that. And uh, that's got the DxO Prime and DxO Deep Prime Noise Reduction, amazing, Clearview Plus, great stuff in there, watermarking, excellent. And uh, the regular Photolab 4, I believe, is $99 on sale. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And then you have DxO Film Pack 5 Elite. Think of this as um, analog uh, simulations on your on your digital film. Like, you know, it'll emulate different, like, stock films and things like that. Wedding photographers love this stuff. I love it, too. I love to emulate uh, different films. But it's on sale for $99.99. Highly recommend it. And then you have uh, DxO Viewpoint 3. Think of uh, uh, lens corrections and things like that. And DxO have written a book on lens correction. So they're the best, really. And Viewpoint 3 is on sale from $79 down to $49.99. And then they have a couple of uh, packages you can get. Uh, you can get Photolab 4 Elite plus Film Pack 5 for $214.99. And you can get. Uh, Photolab for Elite along with uh, Viewpoint 3 for $179.99. So really good savings. So that's a breakdown on the sale prices right now. Okay, now I just wanted to give you a little breakdown on the difference between Photolab uh, for the Essential Edition or the Elite Edition. And uh, the price for the Essential Edition is $99.99. So the, the first section right here is what it doesn't have compared to the Elite, everything else is the same, okay? So let's just uh, center on this section right here. But here's the biggie, and I do recommend that you go with the Elite because you're going to get prime denoising raw. This only works on raw files, by the way, and deep prime denoising. It is truly amazing. I have videos on it, how amazing it really works, and I love it. What can I say? DxO Clearview Plus, really great. I've yet to see anything like it to remove haze and just give your image a lot of pop and sparkle. Amazing. It's got the anti-more anti tool. DxO Instant Watermarking, that's a new feature. DCP and ICC Profile Support in the Elite Edition. Multiple exports, a preset editor, batch renaming. Okay, and you can do up to three activations compared to two activations in... um the essential edition. And then with both of these editions, if you add um, Viewpoint 3 and Film Pack 5, uh, you'll get uh, geometric corrections and analog and creative uh, film renderings right in Photolab 4, which is amazing. And I'll be doing videos on that. I love that stuff. Film Pack 5 is truly incredible. Hopefully, this will help you determine which one you need, Elite or Essential. I say go for the Elite. You will be glad you did. And now, just to whet your appetite for DxO Film Pack 5, again, a this is great software. More than 120 styles of which 80 are legendary analog films, okay? Black and white color films. Show you a couple examples here. 
just to get an idea. Again, wedding photographers, you need this software. You really do. So amazing stuff. Film grain simulation. I mean, it really uh, mimics the actual analog films beautifully. I can't say enough about it. But that's DxO Film Pack 5. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was Viewpoint 3. Now, it's going to fix like your uh, lens issues, especially like with wide angle lenses. You know, when you got something like this, it'll correct it like this. And a lot of times it's just the click of the auto button and voila, bam, you're done. So that's Viewpoint 3. I highly recommend it. And next up, I'm going to show you that new improved uh, HSL color wheel in both the Elite and the standard Photo Lab 4 editions. And now let me show you the new feature in the HSL color wheel. Here's the HSL color wheel here. Now, right now I'm selected on all the colors right here. See the white swatch is lit up here. And you notice my color wheel right here. Now, if I click on any one of these uh, different colors here, you'll notice now it says press control to show selected range. Okay, so that's the control on your uh, keyboard. So if you hold your control key down and you press any of these handles like this, see the color I'm on I'm on red tones but you can see you can just see the red tones show up isn't that cool or if you click inside of the color wheel here, here and move it you can actually see what color is targeted and I think this is going to be a really effective uh, addition to this HSL color wheel and then you could go ahead and adjust your feathering and see how far you need to adjust and things like that and also how wide you need to make your adjustment just to encompass the colors that you want. So like here, see, I'm starting to pick up green. So I can see right there, I'm targeting all my oranges and my flowers. So now I could come here and give them more saturation or cut the saturation back. Or I could come and take this outer ring here and change this to a different color or whatever I want to do. But that's the new feature. By pressing the control key down and clicking any of the handles, with the exception of this outer... Um, hue adjustment uh, you won't see the uh, targeted color when you're using that but all the other handles you will well there it is and if you're already an owner of photo lab 4 don't forget to get that new update with that new color wheel edition that's going to be a game changer i love it it's really great uh, and don't forget, we're in a holiday sale right now with DxO Software. So here's all the deals you can get. And don't forget, uh, if you'll click on my affiliate link in the description below, that'll take you right to these offers. And also, uh, I make a small commission and it helps me to keep my uh, tutorials coming your way. And I really appreciate all my viewers and all the support you give me. If you enjoyed the video today, please give it a like and share this with your friends. I'd really appreciate that. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy holidays and happy editing.